Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at this teeny tiny little kit here, the 124th scale Tachikoma. It's the 2045 version of the Tachikoma from Ghost in the Shell. This kit is made by Wave. It's got a lot of really nice detail on there, but it's a very small kit. But let's go ahead and take a look at it in today's review. Taking a look here at the Tachikoma, I really like this fresh, clean look to the box art, very stylish design for that. The illustration is really nice, and we also have a really nice illustration there of the Major in the background. Just unfortunate that she's not actually included as like an included figure to go along with your kit in this case, but the illustration is really nice there of her and of course of the main kit there, the Tachikoma, the illustration work, very nice. Bottom side of the box just features a photograph of the kit and all of our information there. It's a 124 scale kit. The side of the box is a vertical format, but it's just the front and back photograph of the kit. Some more information down there in Japanese, a close up there of the front side. And the other side shows it in its kind of high speed form there with the wheels deployed. Another kind of close up image there of the Gatling gun at the front. A couple little detail shots there, and that's basically it. Opening up the kit, we're just gonna have just a few small runners in here. Nothing too big, nothing too crazy. We've got quite the sheet of foil stickers here. That's a big yikes. And the instruction manual is going to feature the same artwork as what's on the front of the box. On the back side, there's our color guide and just reference photos there. So you can tell where all the colors go around on the kit and the nice detail images. You have your list of included runners right there, but then otherwise it's just all construction of the kit itself, which again, is not really too extensive. A little bit about transforming it into the speed of mode there, and then just some more shots of how that's gonna look when it's all painted up and everything. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the runners. And I have to show you guys the runners a little bit differently in this case, sorry guys, but just to let you know what you've got included here, basically you've got a few runners that are gonna be molded in a molded silver. One runner with a few parts there in white. Our main, like, uh, very nice looking blue color there. A polycap runner there, which is also molded silver, and then some dark metallic parts there for some kind of mechanical parts. And then one runner here in clear orange. But let me go ahead and get this kit all built up, and then we'll see how it looks. All right guys, so here is the Tachikoma all built up and it's a wonderful little kit, very small. I did do a little panel lining on this just with a gray panel line pen just to kind of bring out the details so you guys can see them a little bit easier. Very small and I will say it's unfortunately a very fragile little kit as I'll demonstrate for you guys here in just a minute, but it looks great if this is what you're looking for. It, again, it's 124 scale. So if you're planning on building this into some sort of diorama or something like that, it gives you an idea of what kind of other stuff you need to be looking for that would be a similar scale. Unfortunately, the kit does not come with any other kind of character figure along with it, which would have been a really nice addition to this set, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and take a look at the kit in hand, and I'll show you guys exactly what the main issue with this is going to be straight out of the box, is that when you're moving the limbs, the ball joints for the limbs are kind of weak. So as you're moving stuff around, you'll just find that these front uh, arms fall off the ball joints right here very easily. And the legs have a ball joint here and there, when, so when you're trying to move them to reposition them, just moving them a couple of times is gonna be enough for this to just, that ball and socket to just come apart, for this ball joint to just pop right out of the socket there like that. So as you're trying to pose the kit, if you're trying to change the pose or something, you're just gonna find that the leg is just gonna be constantly coming off very easily. And it does pop back into place, I mean, easily enough, I mean, just pop it back in there but it's just kind of a pain and when you're trying to move stuff around and move this over here, you can also move the angle of the minigun here on the bottom there like that. We do have an option piece instead of the minigun. If you just prefer just this like little cannon there instead, you can just take that off and exchange that. Well, I just took off the whole thing there, but that comes off and you can pop on this alternate piece instead. And again, basically just these ball and socket joints is gonna be the main weak point of the kit, but there's how that looks with that on there, a bit like an octopus, basically. I did put a couple of stickers on here, these blue ones here, but then I was just very overwhelmed by how many stickers there are for this kit that I thought, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But there are a lot of stickers for this to make it completely color accurate if you want. Otherwise, of course, just the option would be just to paint it. We're changing out the feet, uh, or I should say transforming them into the wheels, basically to take those off, and then you have your wheels here, you'll just swap out this connection piece, pop that into here instead. You can put that back onto the leg here and then you just rotate that in like that. 
for having use of those as wheels. And the same thing with this big wheel here at the back. This one you basically are just going to fold this out so that it should look like that. Now it doesn't actually turn, you know, it's just meant to look like a wheel. That clear orange piece up in there does look really nice. These bits here on the side, those can also be rotated if you want but again there's some nice detail around on there and i mean the kit looks really nice all the proportions and details everything does look very cool and even the molded silver is a nice touch even if you're not planning on painting the kit that does look kind of nice but you can see those nub marks are going to be impossible to get rid of without painting or without at least touching up the paint on there just because of how the uh, metallic injection works of the plastic if your nub is cut off and sanded and it's perfectly smooth so you're still going to have the discoloration from that no matter what and just to further illustrate just how small the kit is for you guys here's a size comparison with a 144 scale uh, entry grade strike Gundam so you can see it's barely coming up to the knees of a HG size like 144 scale size Gundam kit so very small indeed but alright guys just to wrap up the review I have to say I can't help but feel a little bit disappointed with the kit just because it, it is kind of a pain to actually work with that said I mean all the detail and everything is there it's just a kit that straight out of the box is not going to be that satisfying of a build it's missing a lot of little color details and it's just kind of falling all over the falling apart all over the place uh, but you know it's nothing that a little bit of glue a little bit of paint can't fix and you'll have a perfectly fine model and then even though on top of that at the end of the day it is still a very small model I would have liked it in something a little bit larger at least 120 scale would have been nice because then there's a lot more variety I feel like available in like sci-fi models in like 120 scale to be easier to pair it up with different things and different character figures and things like that but uh, even larger would have been nice I don't know 112 scale or something like that maybe someday in the future that'd be something that uh, we might see made by either wave or I don't know but I can tell you guys, if you're a fan and you're willing to put in a little bit of work on this, and especially if you have plans uh, for making some sort of diorama or a scene or something with this, you know, then I can definitely see there's def it's definitely a worthwhile kit to get. But let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Are you excited for the kit or what are your thoughts on it? Are you planning on getting one or no? I think the kit looks nice. The box art also is really nice. I just really like the box art design of it. It's really cool looking. But if you guys are looking for kits from Wave or Kodobukiya or of course Bandai, you can find all your different plastic model kits at USA Gundam Store. The link will be down in the video description below as always. And there's my coupon code for you guys to use there as well. Sakurilius10. You can use that to save 10% off everything there on the site. So check that out. Thank you guys as always for checking out the video today. If you want to leave a like or subscribe or a comment, it's all greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much. Until next time. Hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.